Good morning. As we continue with uh, uh, Lent devotions, we're still in the idea of seeking first God's kingdom and the idea of simplicity. And our verses today come from Luke chapter 12, verses 30 and 31. And they say this. For the pagan world runs after all such things as food and clothing, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. These verses highlight for me two conflicting priorities. Do we, do I, put my energy and effort into chasing down wealth? Or do I focus on taking care of God's kingdom as a priority? And what does that even mean, seeking God's kingdom? Well, I read it as seeking his salvation, living in obedience to him, looking after others and sharing the good news with them. The situation that I'm going through at the moment is one that many of you have faced, and maybe most of you will. I'm talking about the switch from earning to retirement. As I make this transition from gainful employment to blissful retirement, not work yet, I still have to do that, but earning a living. My question has been to myself, and to my family, do I have enough? <clears throat> and after reading these verses, I seem to see or hear God say to me, enough for what? Do you really think you can look after yourself better than I can look after you? You see, with a saviour like ours, worrying is not only pointless, but it's also an intrusion into the trusting and trustful relationship we have with him. In the Gospel of John 10.10, 10, Jesus talks about abundant life and that he has come to give us abundant life. Jesus himself wasn't rich, but all his needs were met by his father. But of course, in a different way, he had the richest life imaginable. It was full of abundant love abundant joy, abundant grace, abundant peace, abundant goodness. And he had the closest relationship with the Father that anyone has ever had. And of course he had a mission that would change everything and will continue to do so for the whole of eternity. And that's the kind of abundant life that Jesus says he's come to bring for us too. I feel in these verses, God has given us the grace to see that it's not wealth that really sparkles, but this abundant life as we wholeheartedly pursue his kingdom. Let's pray together. Lord and Heavenly Father, as we come to you at the beginning of this week, we ask that our focus would be on your kingdom. We ask for abundance in our life, for richness, dear Lord, as we pursue your holiness, your obedience. Lord, as we pursue the things that please you. And Lord, please give us today our daily bread. Please give us the things that we need. We know that scripture commands us to look after our families and provide for them, Lord. But Father, we just want to put that in its rightful place and ask, dear Father, that you would help us seek first the kingdom of God, your kingdom, and it's righteousness. And we know that you are a brilliant, trust, trustworthy, faithful God. And all the things that we need will be given to us as well. So thank you so much for this, Lord. We commit the day to you in Jesus' precious name. Amen.